I see people building apps using AI and making millions a year, like a hundred thousand dollars a month. And so I was like, why don't we do the same exact thing in one video? So yesterday we will be trying to make a profitable app only using AI from scratch, no code, bro. And the first thing we need is a really good idea. So I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to, uh, to spin me out some ideas. I want to make profitable mobile app that people would use today. All right. Spit, spit, spit. spit. Spit to me some ideas, chat. Give me some good ideas, all right? Okay, so it gave some ideas. Let's let's just look at some of them. AI study helper. This one's not bad. I feel like I would use this, maybe. AI fitness nutrition coach. Yeah, I'm just not interested in that. AI tax deduction finder. All right, we're not boomers. This will be really profitable, though. Phone declutter app. Compressive. Okay, this one's not terrible. This one's definitely in the top three right now because the other ones are kind of trash. Habit tracker. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Visual progress animation. Each habit grows a digital plant. Ooh, this one is pretty cool. I might do this one. Okay, the best one I'm seeing so far is definitely Habit Tracker. I'm gonna put this at number one. Put this in the sticky note. Number one, Habit Tracker. Number two, probably the AI Study Helper. This one's not terrible. It's not bad. You can see, I, I like, I would use it maybe like back in the day, but now I, I study pretty well. AI Flashcard Generator is pretty cool. I, I think I've seen this actually. AI Resume Internship Finder for students. This isn't terrible. I might do the AI Flashcard generator like that sounds really useful if you just upload like your lesson or doc and it turns into flashcards for you yeah this one i like ai flashcard generator for students turn any lesson into flashcards this one might be it all right so we have our million dollar idea we're gonna make an ai flashcard generator app now all we need to do is actually make it <laughs> and as i said we're not gonna be coding so we're gonna be using strictly ai agents which is actually the perfect time to use creo and this is literally a tool made to build ai AI native apps. All right, let's pretty much tell it that we want to build this. So let's just copy the AI flashcard generator. Let's tell chat to like give us a more in-depth description of this app and give us a good prompt that we could give Creo to make it in the simplest way possible so it's up and running immediately because I want to be rich fast. <laughs> make this into a nice prompt so I can give it to Creo to build the app simply all from scratch so it can be up and running in one shot just give me a better prompt so i could paste it <laughs> i like using ChatGPT as a workhorse that's 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 your that's your only purpose here right i'm joking when the ai podcast happens do not come after me okay here it is so app structure onboarding home dashboard upload screen processing flat okay so it's a simple simple design so here this is the money making part premium three four dollars a month that's not bad unlimited flashcards okay one time microtransactions flashcard packs quiz enhancer okay this is not terrible final output all screens fully designed all ai logic implemented so let's let's paste all this into creo and let's see how well ai makes our app from scratch hopefully we could be millionaires at the end of this video paste it into creo and let's make make my app for me creo's thinking okay i want this to be something i would actually use every single day so i i, I need i need to cook right here okay product brief it's, it's cooking it's cooking using three apis okay uh, i like what i see right here i really like what i'm seeing right now it's looking like we're uh, making a lot of money this, is, this looks pretty good i approve it i approve it okay ai agent okay now it's cook it's cooking i think it's literally just gonna make the app right here so in the meantime let's make a app logo let's just ask chat to cook up an app logo for us a graduation cap maybe hold on make me a black and a white logo for this app and i want it to be just a graduation cap on a black background you guys see the vision like i it's, i want it to be like a simple app you know what i mean nothing too extra something like the modern apps like like notion boom that looks hey that's simple so this is our logo i guess so let's let's add this to the folder now i just need an app name i'm gonna ask chat because the ones i'm thinking of don't even sound like pg-13 flash mind study snap okay this one is fire. Study Snap is fire. Recall AI is not bad. Study Snap might be the best one though, because it literally turns into flashcards. Like this one might be the best. Okay, let's go with Study Snap. Our app name is Study Snap. Add that right there. Okay, let's check on Creo. It's, it's still generating API hooks and stuff. Okay. It's getting us the product we need. That's what I like to see. Yo, with Study Snap, we have to at least make like a billion first month. If we're not making at least 
1 billion first month, I'm deleting the channel. Mark my words. I'm joking. I generally don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. All right, so Crayo just finished making my web app. And I think it took like about 15 minutes to make. But let's just see how well it did. Hey, we are working buttons. That's always a good sign. Let's put in a fake email. YouTube. <laughs> dot com i don't know so boom this is our dashboard okay this is actually really good this looks like one of them like million dollar companies bro so you upload the material here let's ask ChatGPT to make like a fake study plan or like make a fake lesson we're about to test this bad boy out if this works first try in 50 minutes of work honestly all we have to do now is just slap our name on it slap our logo and we're kind of in the big leagues i'm not gonna lie oh we also have to handle payments and advertise it no that'll come next all right sample lesson pdf let's download this and now let's upload it and see if it actually makes like the flashcards he's processing there it is generate it yo if this actually works my mind is about to be blown i'm not gonna lie it actually works you could change the level two bro what the heck let's go to beginner um generate more okay but the the generation function works i like that i like this okay what about quizzes it makes can it make a quiz for us like offer it already which you're following is not reactant photosynthesis um reactant wait hold on let me actually think carbon dioxide because photosynthesis it releases right okay it doesn't tell if it's right okay i'm assuming when the quiz is done it's gonna tell us so let's just test yo it actually gives you a quiz graze it bro this is actually hold on we might be on to something i'm not gonna lie so far this is amazing it really has made a whole web app for us and it's functional the only thing is we need to we need the flashcards to flip over when we click it okay here it is upgrade to premium we should probably like use stripe for the subscription stuff all right let's refine the app further Okay, after some thinking, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to put the flashcard feature in the premium plan. And then I'm just going to change the app name to Quizzer AI and make it more like an AI study materials to quizzes. Because I really like that feature the most and I feel like I'll use it more. And so I'm just going to tell it to send it to this custom Stripe payout link I made so they could like pay for the premium plan if they so choose to, to make like unlimited quizzes. So uh, let's tell Creo to do that. And I'm pretty sure after that, we're ready to deploy this bad boy and make millions. Like, come on. All right. That took actually the longest time out of all of them for some reason to finish. Now the flashcards is a premium feature as it should be and when you click upgrade to premium it should take you to the payout page for stripe now all we gotta do is really yeah let's market this bad boy and make like a billion dollars first we have to put it as an actual website though so from the app i actually just made i actually download all these files from creo itself so then i could just push it to github and i could just start my app big shout out to creo and thank you so much for sponsoring this video because this platform was literally perfect for this idea and building an app so instead of verso we're actually going to be using netlify to deploy app because it's actually pretty simple all i had to do was just drag all the files into it and it just manually deploys it okay so it is finally deployed look at this guys oh and the the thing still say study ai but that's fine you know what i mean the best place to actually market apps like this is reddit if you want to do some free marketing for your new web app go on reddit let's just look for students who need like a study tool to maybe just turn their class materials into like quizzes so they can study this guy's asking what study tool do you guys use i'm just gonna put i use paste our link because it is awesome and it makes quizzes out of your study materials boom kind of just do this and go around and you know help people out with your app and that's kind of how you market these so i'm just gonna go around and do that yeah that's kind of it without ver like we we made a whole entire profitable web app pretty much from scratch in like less than i would say like three hours it really took so guys check out creo if you want to make your own obviously and obviously i'm gonna be updating you guys on how successful this app does in future videos but honestly this is this is solid like i think i would actually generally use this in my daily life make sure to click the like button and click the hype button obviously and if you're new around here subscribe you know what i mean we just make ai videos where it's really cool around here it's really fun yeah i'll see you guys in the next one this 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 one was definitely one of the dumbest videos i ever made